Okay, so I will talk to you about a couple of tools that I find uh, very useful. Not at all as deep presentation as the last two ones, but uh, hopefully something that you can start using tomorrow, or even tonight, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah. So obviously, if you want to write less Java code, you could use Kotlin. <laughs> but since uh, this is not a Kotlin talk, we will just skip that slide for now. So this talk will be a short presentation and a demo. Uh, and uh, hopefully I can show you something, some code that you can learn from and see how hopefully easy this, uh, uh, these two tools are to use. Okay, let's start with Lombok then. Uh, so um, Lombok is used to uh, are using annotations generate some boilerplate code. And uh, that's uh, obviously a good thing for several reasons, because uh, writing less code uh, means probably less faults, at least in my case, and also uh, makes the code more clear. And that's also a good thing. So uh, uh, for instance, Instead of writing explicit getters or setters, we can use the annotation at getter or setter. Then they are quite self-explanatory because you will get the getters and setters generated. And uh, for instance, equals and hash code will generate those methods. And uh, all args constructor will actually generate the constructor which takes in all the fields which you have in a class and set them accordingly. At data, will uh, generate both getters and setters and uh, um, some other functionality, like I think the equals and hash code as well. Uh, Lombok also supports uh, builder pattern, so that if you use at builder, you will have a builder created. I will show you that as well later on. And SLF4J, for instance, will create uh, a logger using SLF4JA for that class which we have the annotation in. So quite convenient. Uh, to use Lombok, you need to add a dependency in your Maven or Gradle uh, configuration file. Other than that, it should work. Also, you have to, or at least you should have a plugin, for instance, in IntelliJ then, in your ID. And then uh, Mapstract is a similar, but not, uh, not the same tool, uh, actually used to simplify uh, copying data from between uh, similar classes, for instance, between entities and DTOs. And as we use it in my current assignment at Telia, we have um, quite a large API for a certain service. And we support multiple versions of that API. And um, instead of having duplicate uh, code paths for these APIs, we directly, when receiving a request on the older API, we, we convert that uh, Java object uh, model to the new API version, and then continue using just one code path. So that's quite useful in, in that case as well. And to use Mapstract, we need another uh, dependency. And also, we need to add in the Maven build path uh, something called annotation processor paths. Because uh, the annotations is actually, yeah, they are uh, compiled and generates uh, new code, uh, which I will show you as well later. Uh, Mapstract is not the only Java mapping framework. There are a lot more. For instance, JMapper, Model Mapper, and so on. And uh, for reference, I also added a um, link to performance uh, comparison, because uh, these mapping frameworks actually differ quite a lot in performance. So if you have uh, performance sensitive uh, code, then you should uh, definitely check that out. Um, that you chose a 
proper one. So let's see if we can get some demo. Uh, can you can you read in the back? Great. So I have some um, very small example project here. Would like to show you. We have uh, uh, a car class, and it has some attributes like make, number of seats, type and the list of drivers who are allowed to drive this car. And um, if we go on in, check the driver class, it has uh, name of the driver, age, and then uh, uh, a list of keys. Obviously a bit constructed just for this demo, but anyway. And the key only has one field called serial number. So just to make something up. And then we have also a set of DTOs which resemble uh, these classes. For instance, a car DTO, which is actually very much the same as the car class, but anyway, another class. And uh, at the same time, we have a driver DTO and key DTO. So, uh, Let's start checking the car class. Here we have used the uh, annotation at value from Lombok. And if we have the plugin in Intellia installed, then there is actually something called dlombok, which will show exactly what that meant, the value annotation. Did I miss it? Okay, so now we see what, what code was actually generated. I don't know if you saw before, but there was no final. So at value actually added final to all the fields to make the class immutable, and also added final to the, to the class itself. And then we got a constructor for all the fields, and getters, and equals, and hash code, and a two string. So uh, quite much code that we don't have to write. And I really much more prefer to have it like this because it's very clear and simple. And the same I've done for, for the other classes here at value. And then to show you something else in the, in the DTO, we have instead used at getter and at builder, which actually will uh, generate the builder uh, pattern for this class. So we get the constructor as well, and the generated builder for all the fields and getters. So if you prefer that pattern, that's uh, fine as well. And then we come to uh, of course, this is only a very, very small part of what's available in Lombok, and I, I'm sure you can check that up yourself. Uh, there are a lot more to learn, but we use that quite common in my current assignment as well. But now we come to Mapstract, and obviously what we try to do is to, to map these classes, car, driver, key, car type. I didn't show that one. That's an, just an enum. And in the DTO, that's actually represented as a string. But we want to map this, uh, and I created a test. Which creates uh, a key driver and the car. And then we hope that when we do the mapping to the DTO, we will have all these as search fulfilled. And actually, I think this test will pass, and then I will show you about um, abstract. Okay, yep. Uh, so what we do with abstract is that we create an interface, which is called car mapper or something else. And the only thing this interface uh, includes is the annotation at mapper, which is brought in from abstract. 
and one simple method a declaration which is called map or anything you like the important thing is that it takes a car and returns a car DTO and based on this uh, a, a, another class is generated called car mapper impl so we can see in here that mapstract has generated this class and uh, the method overrides is uh, the mapping uh, method. And then this code is generated automatically. And since the classes, the car and the car DTO are so similar, everything works automatically. And there were lists and they are handled as well. So this is, this is quite nice if you want to map from very similar classes. Uh, and then I think I will try to show you what happens if uh, the, the classes are not that similar. So for instance, if we have this number of seats, let's take this one, make. If we change that to manufacturer, then the DTO is not that easy for the mapstract uh, uh, tool to map. So obviously the test will fail now. It won't even compile. Like that. Yeah, so now we got the failing. Uh, Anyway, what we need to do now is to instruct mapstract that something has changed. And we can do that by adding a mapping. And tell mapstract what fields we want to map. So source here in this case is car and the uh, property in car is uh, uh, what's it make and in the car DTO is target manufacturer so by doing that we instruct map source to uh, to generate a little bit different code using those uh, instructions and hopefully test will now pass. And we can also check the generated code that now the car DTO uh, now sets the manufacturer field instead from the make. So that's a little bit of magic. and quite easy to implement, I think. And, and that can also be used if you have some change in the deep down in the, stru in the structure. For instance, if this was called serial ID instead, then we can do the same here. Instead of that, uh, we also need to define that method so what we need is a, to have a method called with uh, uh, key which returns key DTO. And it will take a key. Sorry. And we also need to have the mapping because the uh, um, fields were not called the same. So what did we have? Serial. Number and. Like that. Yeah, and uh, that would hopefully work as well. So 
by doing like this, we can define the, the, the mapping rules. And if you have something more complicated, like not the only different names of the fields, then we can actually do exactly the same, like what we did here. It would be uh, similar to doing... We, we can also, if we want to write some uh, specialized mapping code, we can, def we can uh, define the def default method in this interface as well. Uh, which could be something like uh, uh, then we can do the implementation ourselves, like he did. or something more complicated. Sorry, build this one. And that would also uh, go into that uh, generated uh, mapping code. So if we are lucky, this test will also pass now. Oh, I didn't change. Uh, I didn't change this one. So that's for the demo part. Um, just a really short wrap up here. I think uh, both Lombok and Mapstract can save a lot of time and make your quote clear and simple, so I think they are very valuable and uh, uh, worth to try out. Uh, they are at projectlombok.org and mapstract.org. So actually that was all. If you have any questions, feel free.